This video will cover EndNote for Mac, setting up an EndNote library. After installing EndNote from the Pace University website, you will open a library on the Mac and it will appear similar to what I have on screen. Now the first change that I generally recommend on a Mac is the layout. If you look at the center of the screen, you can see there are only three columns visible. There are more that are hidden, but just because of how it is set up currently, it hinders your view of the library. To change the layout, go to the top right where you will see a small layout icon and change it to bottom split. As you can see, after changing to bottom split, the other columns are now visible. So there's more real estate to work with in terms of viewing the EndNote library. The next thing that you may want to change are the filters at the very top. Normally, when you first start, you'll have read unread status, author, year, title, journal title, date, and rating. I personally recommend turning off read unread status, rating, and reference type. And I would recommend changing those out for database provider, name of database, and URL. This way you're able to easily differentiate where you've where your articles came from, which database, as it's good practice for record keeping. Now you can change your citation style in EndNote by clicking on the drop down menu available at the bottom of the screen if you have changed your layout to bottom split. From there, you, you can go to the top and select another style where it will provide you a list of all the citation styles that are pre-installed with EndNote. Now you can organize your EndNote library by creating groups, which is their form of creating a folder system. Groups can be differentiated into two parts. You have the group set, which is the main folder, and then you have the group, which would be a subfolder. You can utilize the group sets and the groups any way you would like. Some examples include, if I was doing research on the paleo diet, I might organize that folder by database. For instance, I could create a group just for sources I pulled from PubMed. Another example would be using a major theme. So if I'm doing a study comparing diet to exercise, I may create a group set named diet and look at various outcomes that I might be interested in, such as quality of life or energy in the patients. And these are just a few ways of setting up and organizing your library before you add any sources to them. Be sure to check out the other EndNote for Mac videos on the Pace Library YouTube channel.